Hi everyone, this is Jules. Welcome to part two of my Graphic 45 Vintage Clothespin Kit videos. Um, these four videos are just to introduce to you the four different uh, designed clothespin kits that I am carrying uh, currently. I have carried these kits for a little over a year on my blog um, and I have altered about a half a dozen of them already and um, I wanted to just make them available again because I've gotten so many requests uh, for the clothespin kits and decided that I was just going to put them together with what I thought fit and sell them like that so that um, no one has to make a choice as far as to, to let me know what paper you wanted, what charms you wanted, which was how I was doing it before. So I went ahead and just grabbed the most popular papers that were being sold and the size of the clothespins that were that were being sold and just went off of that, my, off that history. So let me share with you this particular kit. This is particular. This particular kit is number two um, and it is called the Romantique. As you can see, there is the La Romantique paper back here. And again, this is going to come with the nine inch clothespin. And I think this is a natural pine uh, wood. And um, so yeah, it'll come with that. And the accessories, I tried to make it where you'll have such so much to choose from and you'll have some left over. If you don't have anything left over, I really would love to see how you got all of this on the one clothespin because good Lord, it's it's a, uh, I mean, there's not a whole lot of room on here, but you can definitely pack and cake things on if you wanted to. You have the inside that you can decorate as well, of, of course, the outside and both sides, actually. You don't have to have a front or a back. They can just, you can just alternate whatever you want. So um, I did try and get all of the sticker and adhesive off just so that you'll have a clean uh, surface to work on. So you'll notice that there's nothing on there. So what you'll get in this particular kit, which is, again, kit number two, and it's called a Romantique, you will um, have tons of flowers with this one. This, I was thinking of the love, the romance, and the shabby chic on the girly side. Because <laughs> romance, um, in, my, in, in my heart, in my mind, in my life, has always been the love of my life, who's my husband. And um, so, yeah, I don't want to make this clothespin a masculine thing although the romantic part in our of our lives um, I'm speaking from my side so this is the girly side so um, you will have um, a lot of stuff to play with here so this is the shabby chic kind of style so um, there's a lot of the pinks and greens and creams and whites and bling and pearls and just la 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 you know the the daisy the field of daisies kind of a, of a look so i tried to pack it as much as I can with uh, things that I thought that, oh gosh, if I was going to make this this uh, clothespin, this is what I think I'm, I would use. So I'm going to shove some stuff over to the side so I can share first the paper. Okay, let me move all this stuff around. I'm in my, my jammies still because it's early in the morning. Um, and I just dropped off my daughter, so um, I'm still in my sweat my sweatpants and my sweatshirt and stuff. So actually, let me take it off because I'm getting hot. <laughs> And my dog is laying on my chair, so she loves to have my stuff laying on top of her. <laughs> okay, so this paper collection, oh my gosh, it's one of the most gorgeous papers out there. I think you guys would um, agree that Le Romantique by Graphic 45 is just, oh, it's just, it just screams and oozes romance and love and girly and bride and woman. So I decided to add two of the 12 by 12 sheets now before there was a it was 6 by 12 this is a 12 by 12 um, sheet and but not only one this particular kit will come with two sheets from the La Romantique collection this one has like all kinds of goodies to choose from as you can see let me um zoom in with my macro and look at all these images and you'll see the guy the, the groom there every now and again um, up here and up here but look look at her aren't they gorgeous um, there's this one with, that has the, the uh, title love this look at her look at the bride oh love it look at her miss sexy showing off her legs <laughs> this miss thing in the bedroom look at her and then a, I guess it's a poem I haven't never really read that but Anyways, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And the back side has like what looks like a, a screwdriver 
head um, of, a, of a screw uh, or the head the top of a screw um, and I don't know where that's from but anyways it's basically polka dotted and has a vintagey black because it's a little distressed and grunged up and splotchy and stuff and then you have your um, your rose paper which is beautiful the back side has the little romantic words all over it so you can use this to cover it and you can fussy cut um, some of these roses out if you want to and then you can use um, these guys as a collage type of thing so you can use one or two of course you're not going to get them all on there there's just no way um, unless you make a booklet maybe um, but yeah so this kit has two sheets you guys and again a full 12 by 12 sheet at that so along with that you'll get a sheet of actually two no one um this is hymnal paper old from an old vintage um an antique hymnal book um i buy these from a friend of mine who ha just has a bunch of antique book pages and things that she sells and old tickets and things like that so um yeah this is beautiful beautiful song too love this song Anyways, <laughs> so it has the music sheets. Of course, that screams romance already. So, love that. And then a doily, of course. I think all the kids have a doily and some vintage either sheet music or French novel book paper. Um, so, yeah. Here's the one doily. This is a six-inch diameter doily. And you'll get this. Um, and I got this from one of the pages. I can't remember which one it is exactly. I know it's Domestic Goddess uh, collection, but I don't know which sheet from that collection. But, um... You'll have the Domestic Goddess, um, or this particular label uh, that I cut out for this line. So you'll have that. And then again with this one. This was in the first kit too. So there's that. And then you'll get a little ticket, uh, or a little tag um, with its strings. You can do whatever you want with that one. Um, and then you'll get a one foot by two foot, approximately, give or take a couple inches or whatever else, of white tulle. And this is a nice big sheet that you can um, make some like ribbons and bows and, and things. So and there's that sheet. And your trims will be, this is one of my favorite trims. Um, I was selling this one on my blog and I've already sold out. I'm, I have just a little bit that I used for me, but um, I had enough to create a couple kits with it. So um, here's this one. And this is a... Uh, kind of a it has a pearlescent like thread threading in it actually here's it's this is the right side I believe yeah you see the difference so that's like an ivory color and then I found this beautiful I forgot I had this one this one's a uh, kind of a sage green um, lace and it's got the blings in it love that I also have this one in a dark olive green, but it doesn't have bling on it. And I do have that for sale on my blog. Um, on the right side, you'll be able to find everything that I sell on my blog. So you can just click on the image and it'll take you to that post where all the details and the PayPal buttons and stuff are at. So there's that. And you can iron this down if you want to. This particular lace is, is hard to iron. So be careful that you don't put it on too high that you will still burn it. Um, but it does have to be like higher than like one or two. Um, just because it's it's pretty pretty difficult to get flat so I iron all the green ones so here's that one I'm gonna have this beautiful like a vanilla colored uh, Rick rack with some of the pink it looks like it's fibrous um, I don't know if you can see how there we are see it's like fibrous you can see see that there it is so look how pretty that is it's all intertwined within the rickrack so that's just gorgeous but it's very vanilla y so okay there's that one and then um a string of white flat pearls okay and this is white it's not cream just making sure you guys know and you'll get um, some of Patsy's beautiful vintage wrinkled ribbon you get it in this beautiful green and then in this um, This pink this is like a, a vintage or a dusty pink. I want to say dusty because it's not bright Okay, so you get two of those now. These are all sorry. I didn't even tell you how what size these are I think they're a foot if I stay with that Actually, this one is exactly 14 inches, but I was trying to stay within a foot 
the vanilla and the pink rickrack is almost 13 and this trim is 16 inches so it's trying to stay around a foot long with it all um this is one foot and since this one is wrinkled i'd have to stretch it out um to, to and to get to 12 um inches it would be really short so i didn't stretch it out and i cut out exactly about 20 19 20 inches um off of this but stretched out it's a lot more and this one is about the same i believe i don't know why i would have it different but yeah i try to keep it around the same length so there's that let me zoom back out a little bit <clears throat> Then I have one of the rosette uh, flowers in a white that has, still has a tool on it so that you can actually add it to like the very front part of the clothespin if you want to. It's up to you. So there's one of, one of those. With this particular kit, you'll get this bling pack, which is has some pink and some silver and then some grayish toned bling on it. Trying to give you the glare, but the, there it is. So you get a whole packet of it. Charms, you'll get some butterflies. It just goes perfect with it. And a key that has two of two hearts. Then we'll get this butterfly here. It's in the silver. You get that butterfly there. And then two of these guys. These are uh, butterflies that you've probably seen before around YouTube. And then a memo pen. These vary in color as well. This one is the gold, but um, you can use it to hold a little sign domestic goddess or whatever else. You'll also get six pearls and three of uh, three medium size jump rings and three small ones. And that's because there are um, charms here that you can actually hang and dangle if you want to. Put that in there. You'll also get a one of the, oh, this is a gorgeous button. Um, this button here has, it's a two piece so you can pop the white out and just use the flower and just take the shank off um, or use the rim however you want it's just a beautiful button and you'll get one of um, one or the other of these Maya Road words that you can just paint this one says forever this one says love so your kit will either have one or the other okay and it is in like a, it's a chipboard your flowers oh my gosh so I went and bought a, a lot of uh, different wild oak crafts flowers particularly for my kits so oh darn I almost dropped that so what you'll get are a lot of different kinds this is some prima rosettes that I've had on my stash so I'm adding six of those and then one of these um sage green or olive uh or mint is it mint I can't remember anyways it's a green tone uh flower from my look crafts so you get that you'll get um a couple of the I think these are one inch no uh, three quarter of an inch uh, open roses to those you get two of these fabric floral sprays these are so cute it has little beads on the top too these are so adorable you got some semi open roses in the cr uh, cream or deep ivory something like that it has a yellowish tone to it you get some sweetheart blossoms and I believe you get six of them so let me just hold these up so you can see all these flowers and the sprays and then you'll get two of the small gardenias in the cream you'll get two of the um, pink I think it's the baby pink of the curly wild roses this is um, the smaller ones I believe so you'll get four total and then all these so this is that's why I'm saying too it's a shabby chic kind of a style because it's got tons of flowers in it You'll get two of these uh, velvety leaves and you'll get two of these um, chandelier type of um, clear beads two little flowers got the little bling in the center of it this looks like glue so this is the kit number two which is the Le Romantique clothespin kit and the link for the sale the clothespin sale is below if you have any questions please let me know leave a comment or a question um, if you leave a comment or a question um, in the comment box on my blog please make sure you leave your email address because sometimes I can't get a hold of you if you just leave me a comment or a question and no means to contact you even though I click on your name sometimes I can't get through so 
uh, please leave me your information, okay? Thanks, you guys, and stay tuned for um, kit number three. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Jill signing out. Bye.